Hi guys, Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and if you've ever wondered how you can take your animation workflow to the next level, then you've definitely come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about colors, palettes, and more to get you up to speed on all the bells and whistles included with OpenTunes. With that said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is our basic color room or window or tile set, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not really sure what to call it. So we're in the basics tab right now. I can just call it a tab, that's a lot easier. Um, I'm gonna hover over to palette and that's gonna give us all the color options that we need. Now, there's a lot of stuff here, but we're gonna make it really simple. I'm just gonna start with this thing that says colors right here, this little page. It says level palette Z on top. Um, that could be just because I'm on my, uh, my level is called Z but it should say level palette on top. All right, so these are your basic colors. Now in this um, in this level right here or layer, I only have one color and that's black to get the lines on this, but we're gonna be creating a color palette based on this background so that we can color these accordingly. Um, so I'm gonna go back to Z and this is my color one. Now I'm gonna double click it to rename it to lines and you wanna name all your colors because um, it's a pain in the neck down the road when you when you want to make palettes and export them and all that nonsense So definitely name your colors. Okay, so I am going to Show you how to move around this window. Let's go to this drop down menu with the three bars and the little arrow on the bottom This is your thumbnail view. So how you view these um, Blocks of color. I'm gonna make you can make it large. You can make it small You can make it a list which I just found out about before this video, which is really awesome I actually really like that view you can do Show the name of it, palette, and I don't know what these do to be honest. I'm gonna go to the list view because I like the way that looks. Okay, what you can also do is save your palette, but we're gonna get to that in a second. You can keyframe your palette. So if I make lines right here, I'm on frame one. Now you will have to have some prior knowledge of OpenTunes before um, just to understand this tutorial a little bit. So if you don't, then I have a tons of videos you can go back and watch, click on the card right now to see a very basic tutorial. So we'll, that'll get you up to speed. All right, so I'm gonna hit this keyframe right here, and then I'm gonna move to frame 30, and then I'm going to hit it again, and then I can change the color. So it'll change from black to red, just like that. Really cool stuff. Um, so I'm gonna delete those keyframes though because I don't want that to happen. That's my lines. Um, it can be helpful for um, Color changing. I can just imagine like Goku going Super Saiyan and his hair turn changing color. That's pretty helpful, I guess. Oh, what you can do is um, Right click in this empty space next to colors and make a new page. So that can be part of Your color palette. So I think each one of these is a palette so you can export these but you can have another palette that you imported on another page, which is really awesome. It really helps you. Um, if you right click, you can do new style, or you can come over here and hit um, new style or new page. And these are the set buttons. So really, really awesome stuff. This will lock your palette. I don't really know what it does. I tried it. It doesn't really keep you from changing anything, but whatever. All right, now we're gonna get into color dropping and how to get colors from backgrounds like this one. I'm gonna show that frame. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and new style. It's gonna be black like the lines. Why don't I name this wood because I want it to be the color of that wood plank. I'm going to, while selecting wood, hover over with this. You see this dropper with the three red, green, and blue next to it? You wanna select that one. I'm not really sure what the other one does. Um, yeah, I don't know what that does, but this one works for me. So hover over this wood color, get it. There we go, bada bing, bada boom. Now we can color our wood. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, do this for everything that I need in the scene. I think I think I need only the wood in the jars though. So let's make a new style. Um, get that color, that nice bluish color. Um, and the countertops perhaps. Let's get that too. Let's make sure to name them. Jar, oh, what did I do? Yeah, new style. We'll name this counter. And just drop that right there. See, very, very easy. All right, so now we're gonna make this, we're gonna hide this again. We're gonna go back to here. Um, there are a few tools you can use when coloring. Um, I went over them in the basics of coloring video, but I'm just gonna, gonna skim over them real quick. You can, for the wood, I'm just gonna select this paintbrush tool. Um, you can fill it in, you can color it by hand, which is nice, really cool. Or if you wanna be quicker, you can go to the fill tool, and do it on these jars, really cool stuff. Doesn't really matter if it fills the right place. All right, so that's, that's the basics, all right? That's what you, that's basically what you need to know. Also, what you can do is you can turn the alpha down so you can make this transparent like the jars are in the, 
um, painting. So I can make these. You can't really see it that well against, but basically they're turning transparent. So that's that's that. And then we have these countertops we can color in too. Uh, set my brush to, oh, that's play. That's not what I thought it was. Scroll back up to here. You can brush over those real quick. All right, so yeah, you get, you get the point. So now we're gonna go over, over palettes. Now palettes are basically your set of colors in each page. Now I can save this palette and, ex and export it, but we're gonna go over that in a second. What OpenTunes comes with in this little studio palette window is preset palettes, also palettes with your project. Now, OpenTunes is project based. So if you create a project in OpenTunes, that means your your entire um, project will inc include the drawings, the outputs that you have, the the pictures that you imported rather than just rather than just importing from Sandbox. And I'll illustrate that more in a second. As you guys can see, I'm in OpenTunes stuff. Um, this is your um, directory that you everything in OpenTunes goes into. Now you have the choice of going Sandbox or Projects. And Sandbox is basically everything that you create if you haven't create, created a project. And the way to do create a project in OpenTunes is like this. You go to File and go to New Project, blah, 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 fill in all this stuff. You can rename the folders, but that's that. So um, <clears throat> I made Castle Darker Project, so I'm going to hover over to... So we're in Sandbox. I'm going to go back. We're going to go to Projects. I'm going to hit Castle Dark Chapter 1. And as you can see, I have all these folders where it's just drawings of the actual drawings I made, the extras, which are all the paintings and stuff like that. Um, the inputs, I'm not sure what those are. The outputs are basically all the um, the exports of my animations and the palettes are right here. So these are all the palettes that I use for Castle Dark. All right, so now I'm gonna head back. And now that you guys understand palettes, OpenTunes actually comes, comes with global palettes, which are base palettes that are in, installed with the software that will help you with your various exploits in it. So I'm gonna to go to basic global palettes. I'm gonna hit basics. These are just some very basic colors, kind of loud colors. <laughs> very, um, I don't think these are quite attractive, but maybe some of you guys will like these. The cyan is nice. Um, and there's also a global palette for skin, which is really cool because it comes with all different types of skin shades and blush colors, maybe even lipstick. It's really, really nice. Then we go to variety, which is just a variety of different colors that are loosely related. I'm not really sure how. But under here, you have project palettes. And now I know you guys didn't see this in the file folder because that was actually the wrong folder, but it would have showed up if I went to palettes in this project. And I have one for the Castle Dark Chef, which is actually the palette I use for this. And the way that you can do that is that if you make another page, you can take your palette that you made. And the way to save a palette, by the way, is, is doing this. Save palette as, and then Castle Dark Chapter 1, you'll, put, you'll go to palettes and then just Blah, 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 in there, hit save. That's all you got to do. And then it'll, then you restart OpenTunes and it'll be there. Um, what you got to do is you got to select all these colors. I'm just going to hit control A. Will that work? No, that won't work. Um, I guess you hit shift and I'll just, yeah, select all of them. Go to page two and then you can just control C, hit down here, control, control V. There you go. Now you have all your colors there. You can change them. It won't change the original palette. Really, really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you load, save palettes and all that nonsense. So that's basically all you guys really need to know about coloring in OpenTunes. It's really, really expansive, really cool. You can make keyframes, you can make new coloring pages, you can have pages upon pages, palettes upon palettes. You have global palettes that can help you with skin color reference so you guys don't have to go look something up. It's really, really awesome stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys thought this tutorial was helpful, then be sure to tell your friends about it. Also, if you would like to support the channel, then all the links are in the description. You can go on Twitter, Patreon, Discord, come say hi, and I definitely look forward to seeing you guys there. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.